Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of The Royal Family. In this episode, we are going to focus on Princess Anna of Windenburg, but now she lives in Delso Valley because she is an aspiring actress. And we are going to see if things sort of move forward with her and Sir Marshall of Brindleton Bay because Sir Marshall gave up his title to be with Princess Anna, although Princess Anna still has her title. So I don't know, it's a little confusing. I'm still trying to figure out what to do with them if they're going to end up still staying in Del Sol Valley or if they're going to move somewhere else. So I guess we'll have to see. In the previous episode, we were focusing more on the kids and the past few episodes we've been focusing more on the kids in the last episode we had a royal slumber party so we had all of the kids come over we got to hang out with them a little bit more and get to know them better we got to hang out with princess amira she is definitely making some new friends it seems like she hasn't done anything like too spoiled or mean in a while except for maybe taking her friend's seat at the game but that's pretty much it so i think we're like going on a pretty good track with her but i think we'll have to see in one of the next few episodes i do also want to revisit the family of Willow Creek because I just want to pay more attention to them. I love Princess Belle of Willow Creek and of course her mother, Princess Cora. You guys know she's my favorite. But before we begin today's episode, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to follow us on social media and let's go ahead and begin today's episode. Okay, so we are going to visit Princess Anna of Windenburg. Where is she not at? Her? She's at the Windenburg Palace. Oh, well, I did not realize that. Well, oh, okay. So I actually also changed changed up their house a little bit because if you guys had seen the previous episodes with them, I wasn't a huge fan of the house that they had moved into. Just very dark and dull and empty and just didn't seem like Princess Anna at all. So I did download something from the gallery. I will put that information in the description below. So I haven't even really kind of like looked at everything in this house yet. So why don't we go ahead first and bring Princess Anna here. So we, oh gosh, they have a great view guys. And it's nighttime now, so I know you can't see the whole thing, but I did want to keep it with the whole contemporary modern sort of thing so I didn't get anything too traditional looking so let's start with the do they have a basement they do not okay let's start with the first floor so we have our little entranceway here we have a pretty open family room it still has like the little animal print like the uh, I think their last house had a bit of animal print maybe that's uh, the ward household but not her so they do have a little bit of animal print I actually don't know if that's really Princess Anna's thing so we might have to customize this just just a little bit. We have a little kitchen over here. I think they should also get a butler because Princess Anna is so accustomed to having a butler. So I think she should get one of those too. We have a little like clothing rack here too. That's kind of cool. She could kind of keep all her costumes or audition clothes there. We also have a little study area here. That's pretty cool. We, oh, you can like study. Oh, this is like one of those video desk things. I still don't actually really know what to do with this. Like, can you make movies or what? Like, can you use the videos? I'm not sure. They have a little aquarium here and then a foosball table. And then we have a little, we have a sauna. That's pretty cool. We also have a gym so they can stay fit. That's also very, very nice. Is there a bathroom? Oh yeah, there is a little bathroom right over here. So there's that. And then we also have the upstairs. So they've got all this nice, very nice bathroom furniture that has come with the Get Famous pack. We have this, uh, it's not the nicest bed in the world. I think they could do better. They've got a little girly one here. We have more bedrooms now. I think there was really only one bedroom in the last house. So this is a huge difference. I guess this is also, I think this is a master bedroom, but I think we should also change that up a little bit. I think I'll do that later on, or if I have time in this video, I'll do that too. But yeah, I just don't know, like, this doesn't seem like Princess Anna too much, but it seems more like her than the other one did, so that's always a good thing. This is just like a little dressing room. That's really, is that her closet? Oh my gosh, guys, she would love this closet. I think this is so her too. Like she has an, a literal, I don't even know if that's like a walk-in closet because it leads to the master bedroom, but there's also, it looks like a door from here too. Whoa, I like these doors. I don't think I've actually seen those or used them before. But yeah, so this is the upstairs outside. We have a little swing set. So whenever, if they have kids, we could do that. Guys, look at this awesome pool. Oh my gosh. What? That's amazing. That is an amazing pool guys oh now this is more like it though like this is very very cool and then i think they also have a garage yep so they have a garage they should probably have a nicer car than this well actually is that a nice car oh okay from the back it doesn't look that nice but from the front it looks very nice so maybe it is a nicer car so they have a little garage, a little workshop area, and then we have a vault here with some really nice paintings. So this honestly could be stuff 
from Princess Anna, like from their palace, maybe? I feel like, cause like, I mean, they have also stuff like this at their palace, so it would just literally be duplicates, but I could also delete it from her palace and say like Princess Anna took it with her, but I don't know why she would keep it in a vault. Like, I feel like she would have it all out. Like, this is just like a storage room, basically. I feel like they should keep something out in the something else in the vault. So I'll kind of try to figure out what that is. But yeah, so this is their new house. They have the amazing, amazing view. We also, Princess Anna, I think the last time you guys saw her, she was on like level five or level six of the acting career. She's now on level eight. So we also need to book an audition for her soon. So I'll do that in a bit. But we are having her on level eight. So she's like a... Uh, she's going to be a superstar. That's her next stage. So that's what she really wants to be. I think since it's going so well and it looks like things are definitely looking bright for her future, I feel like she might be ready to take it a step further with Sir Marshall. Um, so, I mean, the next step further would be to be engaged. So maybe she would be up for like a long engagement, you know? I mean, even like just so the publicity of getting engaged, that might look good for her. That might help boost her a little bit. So why don't we go ahead and do that? Also, I changed my camera controls because I didn't realize you could do this. Like I've never really changed it from here. So I've always had this one. So it, you know how it like automatically just changes it for you. But I've never used this one and the Sims 3 camera. And it's, I like it a lot better guys. I It's like much more control you have for it. So I think that's really, really cool. So why don't we have, I don't know though, it's 11 p.m. on a Sunday, but they're also very like huge partiers. To, well, I don't know if they're huge partiers. I feel like they would be just because of the area they live in. He doesn't know much about her. There's like a bunch of unknown traits. He doesn't know her career. Oh, come on. Yes, you do. Ask her right now. You know her career. That's, that's ridiculous. Why well, don't ask about children? What? Oh, speaking of, that reminds me, I've got I've to ask you guys something in a bit, but ask about siblings. Uh, whoa, I've never, like, seen these interactions before, guys. Uh, you need to ask her about her career, because that's kind of important. Oh, wait, I just saw it. Uh, okay, ask about career. Yeah, because you, you should know your girlfriend's career, especially if you live with her. So, asking about her career, why don't we... There was something else, I think. Did I say ask about children, or did I say ask about siblings? I have siblings. <laughs> I have siblings. You've known them. You've met them. I hosted a birthday party for my niece or nephew or whoever it was. Nephew, I think. Yeah, here. But he was also sleeping in the middle of the night. I think that was a few episodes ago, like two episodes ago. So, yeah, he should, he should know all this for sure. Uh, I think ask for money. You don't need to ask for money. You guys have not... Not like as much money as the Windenburg royal family does, but they still have a pretty good amount of money. And they have this gigantic household too. So, okay, so you now know more about her. You should know her other traits probably before you guys get engaged. I feel like you should know a little bit more about her. Why don't you, where is the get to know, get to know? Try to get her, get to know her a few more times. You've learned that she's self-absorbed. I forgot that. I forgot about that for her. I don't know if that made sense. Oh, guys, look at this. This is cute. It's like a little fruit flower basket thing. Oh my gosh, it's like lined with citrus fruit. That's really cute. Wait, does she have an award? What? She doesn't actually have an award, though. So I feel like that's fake. I feel like we should delete that because I don't think she's got an award yet. Although maybe we should like have her. Oh, whoa. Where the heck are all of our... We have no holidays, guys. None at all. Oh, 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 yeah, okay, so I wanted to ask you guys about the MC control, MC, MCCC, because I like, this family, one of the noble families had a baby, and I'll show you guys that in a bit too, but like, I want more control over that, like, I, because they already have two kids that are teenagers, and they just had another baby and they're like getting older. So I don't want any other families to have their own babies without us controlling it. So if you guys know how to turn that off, please let me know. Because I like if, if I click on the sim. Wait, hold on. Princess Anna. If I click on the sim and like went to MC control, like there's n like and sim commands, I guess. Everyone forget active. Everyone forget. I don't know what any of this stuff means. Occult commands. What does that mean? No, that's not what I want to do. So yeah, if you guys know how to, like even if I click on the mailbox, I couldn't find an option. So if you know how to, please let me know. And I would love to do that because I don't want 
random babies happening. I don't want random marriages happening that we don't know about. So I, I want a little bit more control of, of this one. Of Like our legacy challenge, it's fine. I don't need as much control over that. But since I, we like are playing with even the noble families, like we control most of them too. I'd like to have a little bit more control. But yeah, if you guys know how to turn it off, please let me know. So I think that, do you know a little bit more about your girlfriend now or not? Let's see, self-absorbed, cheerful. So there's just one thing he doesn't know about. Okay, so it is 1 a.m. Sir Marshall, he is sleeping, but we're gonna change that. We're going to have him wake up. He's still, a, well, he was a business owner. He, his family owned all of the restaurants and like all this stuff in Brindleton Bay, but he kind of gave up his title to follow Princess Anna because she wants to follow her dream. But like they don't actually own any businesses, like they don't specifically. So I don't know if I should remove that. I also can't find their mailbox, guys. Like, am I missing this completely? I want to find their mailbox. I don't know where it is. because I wanted to check the other cheat controls too, but I don't know. Okay. So why don't we just, we're gonna make you not tired and Princess Anna, we're also going, oh, not public image, we're going to make you not hungry because you guys should go do something. Even though it's 2 a.m., you guys should still go find something to do. So why don't you, Sir Marshall, ask, is this, is this the time though? You don't wanna propose to your girlfriend at 2 a.m., but, oh, you know what? He could take her to watch the sunrise, guys. I think that would be really, really cute. Okay, so it's not actually gonna be an official date because where we wanna go, I don't think is going to be like an actual restaurant or place we would want. Oh wait, I don't wanna go to Dussel Valley. I want to go to Brindleton Bay. So I'm gonna find a place here. I do wanna show you guys though, uh, because th so the Duke of Brindleton Bay, so their oldest son, Sir White, he also aged up. They also have a daughter, which I don't remember if I told you guys about. He or she, her name is Lady Corinne. So that's just like other, another noble family that I think we can hang out with too. So yeah. Also, I just like, I so today, I, technically I just posted the video, our one hour special. Special. And I did get all of your comments about all of the relationships kind of and like with Prince, especially, especially with the McWilliams household because I was asking about like if the mom should have a title because her son has a title, but she shouldn't. So I just out of respect gave her like Lady Pearl and I kept her last name McWilliams instead of changing it to Brindleton, but I did change uh, Sir Philip, which is now Earl Philip Brindleton. So he has like the complete title. So I do think, you know what? I think I'm gonna do this in this episode too. I think I'm gonna have Lady Pearl. I think she would realize that like, she's done so much for her son that that's probably all she cares about is his future. I think she would break up with Sir Derek of Windenburg, because if you guys did see that episode, they are dating, but like, he's an only child so he can't give up his title and then she doesn't want to give up her son's title and then they would have to live separately so i think we're gonna have to find someone else for her i think that she would probably care more about her son's future than anything else so i think she would break it off with him but we do need to find someone for sir Derek because he's been single since like princess anna like the whole thing with princess anna and how she ended up choosing someone else so we probably should find him someone soon but there's just like not that many women out like they're all teenagers at the moment so I don't know. So, Princess Anna. Oh, right. Okay, so we're going to go on a date to Brindleton Bay, and I want them to see the sun rise. I know there's a great view at the royal family of Brindleton's household. I don't actually... Is there a good... Oh, they're all at the dock. Guys, that was their first date. We should take them there. This park, though, kind of is not great, though. Like, yeah, it's not the best park in the world, but it is where they had their first date. So I think he would plan to bring her here and propose, even though I'm not putting it as a date, I probably should have done a date. Maybe I can have them do a date. But I, they don't need to though. If they're just gonna propose, I don't think it needs to be like an official date. So I think it's okay if we just have them go and then him propose there. Okay, so we are at the park. I forgot it snowed too. So is this a roller skating rink or an ice rink? It's a roller skating rink. Maybe they should skate around together though. They could do that for a bit. So they're gonna skate around. I mean, we've gotta, we've gotta like do something before. Oh wait, this is one of the world ch war ward children. So, oh my gosh, is that Darth Vader? <laughs> Darth Vader has joined our royal family series, guys. Okay, but is there a place to look at the sunrise from here? Actually, I don't think there is. I don't, 
I don't think. So. I mean, it's really hard to tell because the sky is dark. Maybe like from the boat here, maybe have snowball fight. They could build a snow pal together, guys. Maybe I should make this a date. Let's do that because, mm, yeah, maybe just to have some goals or something to do or. Oh my gosh, I forgot. Last time we were here too, all of the paparazzi were here taking pictures. So this is not the best place. Who is this? This is Sir Scott of Windenburg. Maybe she should introduce herself to him just to say hi. We've got a bunch of children here. I know some of these are like noble children. This is the ward household. This is their one of their children. He has grown up into a child. So you've already become friends with Princess Anna. What the heck? What kind of powers do you have, Princess Anna? To just make someone be friends with you? I didn't even say a polite introduction. I just said like a friendly introduction. Dang. She is like so social, guys. Or maybe they just hit it off like really well. What is this? Oh, that's a bathroom. Okay. So yeah, it's really hard to look at this in the... Also, you know what? Is the, is the sun going to even be like... Is this going to be a clear sky? Are we going to be able to see the sunrise at all? Because it's very, very dark and basically like rainy. Oh, I don't know, guys. Maybe this won't be as romantic as I thought it would be. It's still nice that they're at their place where they got married. Or not married. Oh, my gosh. I'm getting ahead of myself. It's still nice that they're at the place where they had their first date. Although there's a bunch of other people here interrupting everything. So maybe we should have them go down to the docks. Is there, like, a place to sit? at? Well, there's this. But, like, is there a place over here? Not really. Maybe have them. Is this a food stand? It's closed if it is. Okay, well, go sit together and you guys can hang out over there. And then this, I think, is the Salty Paul's Saloon. And can we go down here or is this part of the saloon? You can sit together here too. No, yes, that is more on the water. So you guys should definitely go there. Are we going to see any of the sunrise or anything, guys? I really want to see it. I was hoping it'd be nice and romantic. I guess, like, in the winter time, that's nice and romantic, too. If we had the wedding soon, she could be, like, her sister who got married, like, had, a, like, a, a winter wonderland wedding sort of thing. She could be like that. But maybe she would also try to avoid that since her sister did do that. We could wait until the springtime. I don't think she's in a rush to get married. Like I said, she might want to have a long... Uh, engagement because she's still focusing a lot on her career. She's going to be a superstar in the next, like, when she gets a promotion, guys. It's going to be so awesome for her. I'm excited. I'm so glad she actually, like, tried to pursue this because I think it's really great that she did. Okay, we, they're sitting and chatting and then they are freezing though, guys. They are definitely really, really cold. Wait, I think I, one of the first things I saw was make out? Was, yeah! Oh gosh, though. That, like, there is totally some paparazzi over here, guys. They are, they're being watched by the paparazzi who has orange swirls on her body. That's not good. She looks infected by something. Guys, this is really cute. Okay, and is the sun rising at all or no? It doesn't look like it. It's just like snowing a lot. So, hmm. Is that a fire over there? Or is that a campfire? I hope it's not like an actual fire. That wouldn't be good. Okay, I'm starting to see the sky, like, lighten up a bit. I really want to see the sunrise, though, but we m might not be at the right spot to do that. I wish we were, though. Okay, well, why don't we have Sir Marshall... God, guys, they're getting, like, their photos snapped. I think Sir Marshall should tell this woman to leave, because, like, we're trying to... Where's the ass? Yeah, ask to leave. Because we're trying to have a romantic date or, like, hang out with our girlfriend. Okay, did he already ask her? Oh, she did, he didn't even really have to ask her. That's nice. Okay, so I think he should tell her how much he loves her because he does. He's loved her for like so long and he even gave up his title for her, guys. So obviously he likes her a lot. That's just like no question. And the sun is starting to rise. <gasps> it's pretty, guys. It is pretty. This is really nice. Oh no, child, what are you doing? Can we ask you to leave? You're kind of ruining the moment. Why don't we ask you to leave? Sir Daniel, you need to leave. Can we can we ask you to leave? We might not be able to. I don't know how to get him to go. As long as he's not like interrupting us completely, then I think it's okay. So okay, so so propose is already one of the, the options. So I think it's almost time, guys. I think this is a really romantic spot for him to propose at. And it's like the sun is rising and it's really, really cute, guys. It's really cute. Yep, I wish it wasn't so cloudy, like I wish the sky was much clearer, but I think it's okay. I think that- oh, do we need to reset you? I think so. Okay, well, why don't you both go here so you're, like, on the 
stuff. Make snow angels together. That would be cute. But why don't you just go here together and then can you come here like just a little bit more, Princess Anna? We want you guys like in a perfect spot. Oh, they're kissing by themselves. I didn't even tell them to do that. Oh my gosh, guys. Stop. They're so, so cute. Okay, why don't I tell joke about politicians? Discuss interests. And we want you to be like super, offer her a rose. No, you're ruining it. Okay, you're gonna have to ask this person to leave because they they cannot ruin this, seriously. Oh, I wish it wasn't so dark. Like, I feel like it's gotten darker. It's really dark, is that just me? It's really dark, guys. I think we need to add just like a little bit more lights because this, how do we get way over here? Oh, I can't, I can't. I don't think I can edit that lot at all. Okay, why are you uncomfortable? Because burnt arm, <gasps> ooh, ow, that's not good. Okay, no, ask this person to leave too. Seriously, there's so much paparazzi here, guys. It's insane. Ask that person to leave. They need to leave because they're ruining your moment. They're ruining your special moment. Okay, Princess Anna is feeling flirty. Compliment her appearance, kiss hands. Just do flirty things, but actually like face her. Oh my God, guys, the freaking paparazzi is just insane. It's really bad. It's a lot, okay. And then discovered something new about him herself. The discovery is a new trait, which will have a big impact. I have to see what this new trait is, guys. I think it's going... What are... What's your new trait? I don't know. Why can't... Okay, there we go. Loves family-oriented sims. Oh, that's kind of cool. That's part of the slice of life mod. So I guess that's what it is. Okay, so propose. That's the next one. For him to propose, guys. Oh my gosh. I'm excited. I'm so excited. <gasps> oh my gosh. <gasps> oh, she said yes, guys. Oh my gosh. Yay. He proposed. They're engaged. And all the paparazzi know about it now. Oh my gosh, guys. This is like the longest relationship we've drawn out to. And they're finally engaged. Oh my gosh, okay, well that's awesome. I'm so happy for them. We're going to leave them at that. And then I also want to, I don't know how much time I have left, but why don't we go to Manage Worlds and then we're gonna focus on the Royal Family of Willow Creek too. So I, I think we'll have uh, Lady Pearl McWilliams break up with Sir Derek in the next episode. Not this episode, we'll do that in the next episode. We'll, we'll focus a little bit more on them. I still want Princess Nea, I do like Sir Philip a lot. And I would really like Princess Nea to end up with him. And I do think it would be like good relationships between the two kingdoms. So I think we're going to end up going with that. But we still have like plenty of time. So we'll just have to see. But yes, we are going to. We're at the Palace of Willow Creek. So I just. Oh, guys, I love Princess Belle is getting much closer with her cousin, Princess Amira. So they are becoming really, really good friends, which is great because when they were toddlers, they did not get along very well at all. So I think her and Princess Amira have been becoming really close. I do think she still like looked up to Princess Amir a lot because she is her older cousin, but like still the same age. So what is wrong with you? You low comfort and morgue like. Oh, because the thermostat is set to cool in the winter time and we don't want that. So why don't you turn it up to warm? And then how much, they don't have much long to live guys. They for sure, oh, they're like pretty much the exact same age. But yeah, they don't have that much time to live. So it looks like we, we do like I have a funeral mod, so we could totally do a funeral for one of the kings and queens that die. So, I mean, not looking forward to that completely, but like also kind of want to see what it's like. Oh, my gosh. Everyone has to go to work at the exact same time where everyone's boss is calling. Everybody's boss is calling. Everyone is supposed to be at work and everyone is supposed to be at school. guys. <laughs> That's not good. OK, everyone go to school go to school. Well, we wanted to hang out with you and stuff, but I guess we're not going to be able to do that. Go to school or go to work, go to school, go to work. Does Queen Elena not have to go to work? I guess not. I don't know. Okay. So we, so, okay. Well, Princess Belle and then they're already going to school and stuff. Are they going? They should be going. And I think that, wait, are you guys on level 10? You guys are. Okay. They're like King or Prince Edmund and Princess Al or Princess, oh my gosh, Princess Cora are like ready to become the king and queen of Willow Creek. So they're very close to that. And they like, 
I don't know, guys. They are just like so cute, so perfect. Love them a lot. Love their triplets, guys. I mean, they have a lot of kids. If that cheat, the MCCC, made them have another child, I'd be like, oh my god, no. <laughs> that would just be so much for them. I mean, their kids are like children now, so it probably wouldn't be as hard as if it was when they were like toddlers and stuff, but it is definitely like, oh man, guys a lot for sure i forgot we had portraits of them too so that's pretty cool we have excellent quality portraits so then they need to get portraits done too whenever they become king and queen they also don't have like a throne room like at our royal family of willow of, of windenburg their castles also it's very like homely to me i don't know why it like on the outside it looks like a castle on the inside it looks like a like a regular house maybe just because there's just like so I don't also don't like this tile too much, the checkered ones. I think I might want to change that at some point. So I think this house could use a little bit of renovations for sure. I, there's a lot of renovating I want to do to most of the houses. I also want to focus and one of the future episodes on the Royal Palace of, of, of Oasis Springs because we have a bunch of custom content that kind of fits the theme for it. And I've never actually like played at their palace. It's a beautiful palace, but there's totally some things that could be changed. So I think that I would want to do that for sure in one of the other episodes. So we'll definitely focus on that too. Okay, Prince Edmund, you are supposed to be at work right now. Oh, guys, his performance is just okay. Oh no, he needs to like get that up if he's going to be king. If he's going to be a good king, he for sure needs to fix that. I... <laughs> I wanted to hang out with them, but everyone's gone. And then because the butler's here, I can't make it go any faster. Make a present, order online. Make a present? Is it gonna turn, oh my gosh, confess the mistake. Okay, guys, there's just like so much happening right now. Oh my gosh, eradication is, I've never seen this one. Hold a press conference, lobby privately, hold a press conference. I, I'm sorry, I'm like not interested in reading those at the moment. Like, I just kind of want them to come home. We also do have to end this episode soon too. Dang, guys, I wanted to like actually hang out with them and play with them a bit, but I don't think we're gonna have time. But let's see, I know that for the kids club, so we, they're part of the kids club and the royal kids club. So in the kids club, it was just that Princess Amira didn't want to be part of this, but they can meet like the other kids that are just nobles there. For the royal kids club, we did have enough points to get another club member. So now Princess Naya is part of the kids club as well. So this is like, this is really cool. And we can add more too. Oh, should you invite over Sir Ian? Sure. Should you invite over Sir Sean? Ooh, Princess Belle, who's Sir Sean? Do you have a crush on a boy? Let's see, who is Sir Sean? Sir Sean, he is one of the children, uh, the Duke of Windenburg. So, it doesn't look like they have much of a relationship, to be honest, but maybe she definitely, like, if she invited him over, maybe they do. Like, maybe they have a pretty good friendship. He, why are they so angry? Is he angry too? Why are you so angry, Prince Jack? Something that happened at school, I guess. And then Prince Edmund is moody. Uh, do the Arctic horn, of course. Okay. So, Sir Sean, does Princess Belle kind of have a crush on him too? I was kind of thinking of discuss. Oh my gosh, guys, there's so much stuff coming up. It's, I just want to play. Like, that's all we want to do. Um, ask the other kids if you can join in. Okay, no more. We don't want any more. So, Princess Belle is getting along with Sir Sean, except he's really angry. You don't want to date someone who's like super angry. So, maybe the parents should meet him too, just to kind of like. I think they would want to see who their daughter brought home for sure. They are very interested in this. Why is that kid angry too? Is that Sir Jack? Oh my gosh, guys. Everyone's so angry. Have you already introduced yourself? No. Okay, introduce yourself. Also, what is he wearing? He needs to change his outfit. That is not okay. Okay, so they are going to introduce themselves, see who she brought home. I'm like trying to feel out who she would be good with. There are like a lot of kids. Like we have the Brindleton Bay kids, but they are younger than she is. And then we have the Oasis Spring kids, but they're also younger than she is. I think she would also be interested in Prince. Oh no, oh no, why am I forgetting his name? Oh my gosh, guys, the, the heir to the throne of Brindleton Bay, the prince, Prince Johan, that's it. Okay, I think she would also be interested in Prince Johan, but then Princess Amira might also be interested in Prince Johan. So, uh oh, that might be a little bit of rivalry there trying to get his attention, guys. That is going to be interesting. Okay, 
So they're introducing themselves to Sir Sean. So that is just like a new, like we'll see if anything happens with them to see if their relationship ends up going up. I do want to come back and focus on the Willow Creek family a bit, but I think I do have to end this episode here, unfortunately. So in the next episode, then we will focus on Pearl McWilliams and her breaking it off with Sir Derek. I think that is what she for sure has decided. We'll try to come back to the Willow Creek family to kind of get to, I just, I want to hang out with them more guys. I love them a lot. So we'll hang out with them. We will also hang out with the family of Windenburgs. We like them a lot. And then also we need to age up some of the other royal kids of Oasis Springs too. And we also need to age up, oh no, we also have already aged up one of the princes, um, Prince James of Brindleton Bay. So he's all good, but yeah, the royal kids of Oasis Springs need to be aged up soon. So we'll focus that in the future episodes, but hope you guys enjoyed this. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up and comment any suggestions you have or any questions and I'd be happy to answer them as well. And we will see you guys in the next video.